Hi there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball joint to doll and craft related content. You're here and it is the end of year BJD tag video. I did this last year, uh, maybe the year before. Was I on YouTube? I don't remember, but I definitely did this last year. And um, I plan on continuing to do it because it's a nice way to kind of wrap up the end of the year and see like what I've done in the hobby and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna get right into that. Question number one is show us your doll family as it is right now. So uh, I'm going to take you on a tour of the dolls. Um, I'm not going to pull them all out. So let's do that. Okay, so this is August. He is a simply meant to be doughy. Uh, I have recently touched up his face up and given him more freckling over his nose and touched up his eyeliner a bit because it was a bit smudged. He does also now have a brown wig. Uh, he's retired the mint one. It was just a fur wig and it was like falling apart. And I think he looks really cute in the brown anyways. Very cute little man, very happy. Uh, next to him, we have my Doodle Stream Clementine Lily in Caramel Forest. She will be body sharing with my Doodle Stream Misao Head next year sometime, but yeah. And I'm going to get her some different eyes. It's on the list, but yeah, she's, uh, her the eyes are a little, a little hardcore for me, a little intense. There's Bijou. Bijou is my Dust of Dolls Rose Helm. Her face up was done by, oh my gosh, the per, who was the person? There was an artist, and a specific artist who does like Dust of Dolls face ups. I can't think of what their name is now, but it's like the default face up. Uh, but I really love it and I don't plan on changing it. Uh, yeah, she's in the Pesh skin peach or whatever. Um, Next to her, we have Lola. Now, Lola doesn't get very much love from everybody, but I love Lola. Lola is uh, kind of like a fixer-upper doll. She was a doll legend Nui, and Y-O-U-I, I'm sorry I, if I can't pronounce that, practice head I got from Alice's collection. Um, it was a $20 practice head. Yeah. And then the body is just a doll's own body that had some nicks and stuff in it. I sanded it out. And then I just dyed her dark. Uh, over here we have my Broken Maiden Dolls Moth. She is a beautiful doll in, I think this is called Sunskin. It's like a pink tan. It's a really unique and interesting. Her face up was done by the artist and as requested, gave me some sad eyebrows and freckles to work with. Um, and I could not be happier with it. Honestly, I don't normally like dolls with this much jointing because she has a lot of joints but i i freaking love her and i cannot wait to see what the artist does next oh my gosh next to her we have acdc dolls Air, uh tank her name's era this is like my all-time favorite doll people um i i love this company the body is so cute and curvy with like the softest cutest tummy um, this is still the company face up. I still love it. I'm afraid to change it because I love her so much. Um, ugh, I, I don't know how many nice things I can say about this doll. Um, yeah, if, if you guys have never heard of ACDC dolls, you guys are sleeping on them because like they are such, oh, this is such a cute doll. Look, ah, okay. Next to her, we have, uh, my brand new as of like yesterday, um, Glow Moon Dolls Bodhi. She's in her like sleepy face plate, which is my favorite. And yeah, she's in the ebony resin. And like, I just, I just can't with how cool this resin is. Like, just like how beautiful and matte it is. Like, it's, the only thing is I have cats and I feel like my cat hairs are gonna, ugh, like I'm gonna have to clean her a lot because I'm gonna see every like, every speck of dust that lands on her. But yeah, I also tried to give her a face up. So there's some like residue from MSC. So I'm just gonna wipe it off completely because I don't know how to face up resin this dark uh, without doing white liner, which I didn't want to do. So I'm just gonna wipe it and just leave it blank for now. Cause I, I honestly don't even think she needs the face up. She looks amazing. Um, oh, okay. I guess I can show you this, but um, this is So The Pop V1 head. She's just on a doll's own body that I have. Yeah, this is my, uh, she's my human doll. She's a work in progress. We'll talk about her another day. This is Margo. She's a Peakswood's romantic Cooney head on a doll leaves 
dream girl, dream body, dream girl body. Um, yeah, love her a lot. She is a staple in here. She's one of my only company dolls, like company dolls I have left. So I, I don't know. I love her so much. I, I can't even imagine not having her. So yeah, that's Margo. Here we have Pip. So Pip is my little Monica body. Um, and she is a flower and junior little fox in white skin. She's super cute. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. She's my only closed eyed doll. And I think she'll stay my only closed eyed doll. But yeah, like, isn't she cute? Like, the, look, look at the glasses. Oh, the glasses fell off. But you know what I'm saying. All right. Here are my fantasy babies. I'll show you all at the same time. This is my wrap 1993 May in the pink skin. Uh, super cute, super hard to dress, uh, super needs new eyes, but adorable and I love her. Next to her, we have one of my other company dolls. This is Mabel. She's a doll zone mannequin. She is a discontinued sculpt. I almost sold her and then I just repainted her to match the rest of my collection. And I'm so glad I did that because I big love her. And then here we have Robin, who is my Lily Cat Millie Choopy in mint skin. I got her off eBay. She needs a new face up. She is chipped. Um, that will be something I do in the new year. But yeah, like that's basically. Oh, I do also have some tinies. So up here we have uh, Black Cherry Dolls Cookie. This is Taffy. We have, um, oh my gosh, Miu Gina. Uh, and gosh, what Hallie is her name? I obviously don't play with my tinies as much. Uh, then we have Juniper, who is my mask cat Joy. No, Inez. Inez. Uh, we have some tinies. Da -da -da. Uh, and then we have some Frapzilla blooms over here. I kind of just threw mine together. Sorry. <laughs> I don't. I don't play with them. Um, they kind of just hang out. So like. They just are cute from back here. Okay, question two, how many doll videos did you make this year? I didn't go through and do an official count because it's a lot. Um, I do post twice a week. Uh, I think it was three times a week at the beginning of the year. Then it was twice a week most of the year, I believe, except for um, July, August, because I'm at camp and I just posted once a week. So I think maybe 80 or 90, a lot of videos. Um, and like, think about that, like a lot of the videos, I think all my videos are over five minutes, but I think the average is about 12 to 15 minutes for my videos. Um, maybe even longer, we'll say 15 minutes, but like 15 minutes, 90 videos. It's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot of video. Number three is what was the first video of the year about? And that was my unboxing video for my Millie, every time for my Lily Cat and Millie Choopy. Um, that feels like literal years ago. Like, I feel like I've had her for three years. I cannot believe I got her in January. Like, time is a construct. Time is not real. How has it been a year since I got her? So, like, question number four is how many pictures did you take on any site or medium this year? Uh, I pretty much just counted Instagram because I don't really post doll photos to, um, unless I'm selling something to Facebook and I don't count videos as photos. So it's really just my Instagram. <clears throat> I think I probably posted maybe in posts, not in stories. Cause that's again, a whole other thing. Um, maybe 70, maybe, but the thing is, um, I regularly go through and kind of clean up my feed. Uh, I'm trying to take better quality photos. That's going to be like a big goal for 2022. Question six is tell us the best thing that happened to you in the doll hobby this year. And there's been a few. Um, it's really hard to narrow this down. Okay, so I'm going to narrow it down to probably the most obvious choice. I'm sorry, but uh, a lot of great stuff has happened this year. But of course, the greatest thing that's happened this year is I finished Hollow and a lot of you guys loved her and I got to host a pre-order for her. Um, and I should have, they should be sending me the sample really soon. 
Um, that's the best thing to happen to me this year. I fully anticipate that the best thing to happen to me next year will be getting the dolls in and like maybe if I get um, Clover's sample done too, uh, that will also be an amazing thing. But yeah, definitely getting Hollow done. Um, huge, huge thing for me in the hobby this year. Going from, uh, I'm still a collector, mainly I would say, 50%. Um, going from collector to artist, collector artist, collartist, collartist. I don't know. I don't know but what what it is um <clears throat> but yeah uh it it was amazing oh thank you thank you oh hot thank you my husband just casually making appearances in all my chat videos recently <laughs> um okay so question number seven is what is the worst thing to happen to you in the hobby this year and honestly Okay, so every year I do a Christmas craft exchange. It's been posted recently. So there's a lot of kind of like swaps and stuff like that that is USA only and like North America only or like whatever. And I always think that that's like, I get it, but it's also a bummer. Like it's a big bummer. Um, this is not a coffee and talk. Uh, so I really wanted to keep it open, like, to anybody internationally. You didn't have to have clout to join. You didn't have to, like, be someone I knew personally. And because I was so open about it, I think I shot myself in the foot. Because two people were super communicative until I sent their packages and then they ghosted me. But, like, yeah, I, I got fully ghosted by two people. And, like, <sighs> that's a bummer. And it's not so much a bummer that it's like, oh, I didn't get a package from them. That's not the, the bummer here is I really wanted this to work for like everybody um, because next year I'm going to be more selective now about who can join the craft exchange. Um, so that's a bummer for me, but uh, I'm going to have to tweak it and either limit it to people I actually like talk to on a regular basis um, and or you have to have good feedback because a couple of these accounts didn't have good, like didn't have any feedback and I just figured they were newbies and then they ghosted. So yeah, what are you gonna do? You live, you learn. So question number eight is the best things you got this year. And obviously besides Hollow and Clover, um, who are like my completed dolls, or obviously Clover's not cast or anything yet, um, but she's 98% done. Uh, okay, so besides that though, um, non-doll item would be my Elegoo Mars Pro 2. Um, this has just opened up a world for me of making my own prototypes, um, which is so great because that means I can like do a print, like a test print, modify it, then print it again, and then if need be, modify it again, um, which is fantastic for me. I love that. Uh, it also means that I'll be able to offer minis in the new year. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, limited because I am one person, one printer. So <laughs> very limited. Um, but yeah, that was the best non-BJD item I got. Um, the best doll I got in 2021 was... See, this is hard because... Um, when I was thinking about this originally, it was definitely my Dust of Dolls Rose Helm because she's probably my favorite doll I got this year. But I just yesterday got my um, Ebony Bodhi doll and there was just something about the smoothness of her body in any position. Like, it sounds weird, but like, she doesn't have any weird lines when you move her and she just, sits in whatever position you want and stands and she's got such a unique face and the resin is so like she's back there look being awesome um so those two i can't pick right now um rose helen was a long time grail of mine but um this boat bodhi is like my newest love i just oh i love her so much i love her so much okay um and then my favorite doll like accessory item I got was from Tiki Peach Tea. 
there's a there's videos for all of this because I record literally my life. <clears throat> I li I record literally my entire hobby life. So there's a video for this. Um, but I got some clothes from Tiki Peach Tea over on Instagram, and it's this um plaid pinafore with a mushroom on it. And I love it so much, and it doesn't really fit with my current aesthetic. So they don't wear it very much, but I friggin' love it. And I, ugh. I think I might have to start making an exception for it because like, or find a way to pair it. Cause it's so friggin' cute. I love it. I love it so much. Um, anyways, and then also, um, my like cotton honey haul, everything from cotton honey I got, I really, really loved, really fit like, the look I'm going for and everything. Great. Love it. Love it. Love it. <clears throat> All right. Finally, question number nine, what is your new year's dolly resolution? And mine is going to be that, um, for funds, I'm, I only want to buy three to four dolls tops next year. Um, I bought a lot of dolls this year and that doesn't include the dolls that I have coming in um, because I do have a bunch of dolls coming in but realistically I'm gone most of the summer we're looking at buying a house next year it's just gonna be too chaotic if I'm having to like chase down dolls all the time so there's only a couple pre-orders um, that I really am watching I again there's a lot of variables I need to see pricing I need to see when it's released and stuff. Um, uh, I feel like I got a lot of what I wanted, almost everything I wanted um, that's available. Everything I wanted that's available, I've got. Um, my grails are currently in production, but I wanna keep it to three or four dolls tops next year. And then um, I wanna focus a lot of my energy and time on my own doll line. So that means getting hollow in um that's going to be like we're going to see videos and stuff about like unpacking the sample like the samples um when i get the doll haul of everyone's dolls i want to show you guys what it looks like to like unpack and check and all of that good stuff and then repack and then um ship and like talk about that process I want to talk about getting a doll ready for a caster. I mentioned that video before, getting Clover ready. Um, I want to uh, release affordable mini dolls for people. Um, so that'll probably, like, that's going to be something I really want to focus on. All right, um, that is the end of year BJD tag 2021. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, let me know what you think about all this. Uh, let me know who's in your collection right now. And keep an eye out because I will have a Dolly Plans for 2022 video. Like with more of what was in the last question kind of laid out. Uh, yeah, that will be coming up in the new year. Uh, also stay tuned because there is going to be so many unboxings of all the dolls I've bought in 2021. And they're all coming in at the same time. So... So many unboxings. Uh, besides that, and as always, I hope you have a fantastic day and a happy new year. Bye.